Hello, this is Prince of Somnia, and welcome back to Let's Play The Lost Stage. I don't know why I said hello that way, but anyway, I'm saving right here because we've got boss time. Against this guy. The Guardian of Fire, huh? Hey, it's the old boss music. It's back! Okay, so if you're used to summon rushing your way through these boss fights, let me just put it this way. Do not, do not, under any circumstances at all, walk into this with all of your Jinny on standby ready to summon rush this fool, because if you do, thou shalt most certainly die. Um, and you'll see why pretty darn soon. Let's just have you two attack. I'll get off one Angel Spear, probably won't be able to get off any more than that, and we'll have you attack. Ooh, come on, three hits. Nice! Go, Isaac! Uh, yep, there he goes. Jin stun. Uh, it stuns a random number of your Jinny um, instantly, so, well, pseudo-random anyway. So basically, uh, and this is the really stupid part of this fight, um, he stuns several of your Jinny and then summons them on your ass. So, uh, basically the name of the game is summon them before he summons them on you. So let's see, let's summon Magera. Zagan. Uh, that'll take care of all of them. Excellent. Um, in that case, I want Pierce to do the summoning. Uh, let's see. You attack. You summon Gera. Uh, are you faster than the boss? I hope he is. If he's not, I'm bummed. Summon Gera. Okay, you're faster than all of us somehow. Well, there's one of the summons I've never shown off before. Apparently all of our attack power got boosted off of that, so I chose wisely. And here's another I haven't shown off yet. See, so yeah, basically, um... And I pretty much have no choice on the matter. I am going to have to fight this guy using summons because his, uh... style of fighting involves summoning with your own Jenny, uh, and if you don't do this, he'll probably end up killing you, because he'll summon all of your best summons. Like Procne! Oh god! This is gonna hurt. Uh, someone's probably gonna die, actually. Oh. Huh. Oh no! But that's right, he gets a power boost off of that, doesn't he? Summon Mars. Fortunately, he only gets one power boost, so uh, depending on how many Jupiter Jinny he uses, this could end poorly. This is also a really bad fight because of the way my Jinny are set up. Uh, chances are I'm going to be uh, knocked down into worse job classes as this fight goes on, so I'm going to start doing less and less damage with my own physical attacks. But fortunately, uh, this guy's strength is also his weakness because he keeps summoning. Alternatively, you could just stay away from him. Stay away from the summoner viewers. Uh, Eddie's also a pretty good thing to have for this fight because uh, it'll speed up your recovery times. But remember, the faster you recover, the faster he can summon on you. So, this battle's all about the give and take. Um, do you have any healing items on you? Do you have any healing items on you? You can nut on yourself. Um, <laughs> don't. Well, this reminds me of the first round. Well, at least, uh... What's a Megara or Mega Era is gonna boost our attack power again. Mega Era? Ideally, he'll never get uh, anything like a Zool or something ridiculous like that, because if he does, you're probably screwed. Ow. I think that can paralyze Ow! Jesus. See, I don't think Pierce has any ply series synergy at all. <laughs> well, 
damn, how did that happen? Uh, somehow Garrett managed to get himself into the Ninja Job class series. <laughs> um, whoops. <laughs> That's actually mildly hilarious. That it might explain why he suddenly got faster. Uh, this battle's a right, right old riot, isn't it? Oh, that's not good. Now he's paralyzed me. Um, I'm gonna have to take a round off to heal. Oh, I'm not gonna have to worry about paralysis, I said, when I sold all of my elixirs. Call me a dumbass now if you want. Um, I did summon Mega Era twice. Yeah, why not? What job class are you in now? You're a samurai now. Well, that's the case. How about you attack? You summon and you summon. Summoner battles, it's like Final Fantasy X all over again. Oh, uh, if I haven't said this before, uh, Valakar has uh, almost 13,000 HP. Uh, the second most HP of any enemy in the game. Uh, sort of. Does he have more HP? Yeah, he has. Okay, third most HP, technically speaking. I guess you could say. Oh, he's gonna summon on me. Oh. Yeah, he summoned on me. I would love for Pierce to. Wow! Well, thank you, game! <laughs> Look at Isaac's HP. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Sagan, and you use Wishwell. Thank God you're still in a good class. Oh god, I've lost track of how much damage I'm doing to this guy. Oh, he's gonna summon on us again. Yep, yeah, there he goes, Megara. Well, at least now you get to see uh, the summons used on us. <sighs> For a change, you know? Mix it up a little. Uh, let's see. Attack, attack, summon. I believe you have break, so let's break him. I must break. And thankfully, our summons seem to damage him more than his does to us. Oh, there you go. I guess he's really the easiest of the bosses then, huh? Considering the fact that I did so much better on him than the Star Magician. I'm never gonna live that fight down. Holy crap. And now, we can summon Daedalus. Daedalus is kind of weird, um, I believe he works the same way he does in Dark Dawn, in which case, uh, when you summon with him, he doesn't attack, and then around afterwards he has an additional damage uh, dealt to the opponent, which is weird, but kind of cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Damn, nine minutes, really? I thought that would take longer. Well, anyway, let's get out of here. I can just teleport. Let's see. I guess technically Izuma was closest. So I'm going to teleport to Izuma now because we're going to the next optional dungeon right away. But first, I want to heal. Y'all are still partying, huh? Party don't- Ain't no party like an Izumo party, cause the Izumo party don't stop! But like, for real though. Look at all the money we have, and we're never gonna use it. <laughs> Money's so useless in this game, it's sad, really. How much money do we have, anyway? <laughs> 400,000 coins. 
Felix is practically an economic stimulus package on his own. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Hover Synergy. You remember Lonesome Joe, uh, Lo Lonesome Jones, no, Lonesome George, uh, from the end of the trading site quest that we did a long time ago? Um, somewhere around when we were heading to Lemuria. Uh, he led us to this cave which had one of those teleporter patterns on it, and, well, now we're going to that cave, because we can use teleport on it, uh, on the pattern there to, uh, enter the bowels of that cavern. Assuming, of course, I'm sailing the right way. Um... Okay, fine. We're flying there. Because clearly I can't be... I'm not capable of maintaining a straight line anymore. Here we are. Sea of Time Islet. Is lonesome George. Lonesome no more. Uh, we gotta use a uh, blind read. Yep, let's head to a secret spot again. I don't know how all eight of us are able to f uh, sit on the back of lonesome George over here. Or, I guess not so lonesome George, huh? Curious George? You remember this place, viewers, don't you? Right. Here it is, the teleporter pattern. So let's see. Ivan, if you will. Alrighty then. Now it's the Islet Cave. Or, yeah, I guess it's still the Islet Cave. Oh boy. Yeah, some of the enemies in here are pretty darn tough. Let's see, we got Druge. I think that's how you pronounce it. Fairy um, to fire! And drop the Berserker Band, I think it's called. Uh, the Cruel Dragons are really interesting enemies. They have, um... I was talking about this earlier, but... Uh, they can... They're weak to fire, and they rarely drop the Tisiphone's Edge. Uh, which is... Technically speaking, the best weapon in the game. And the reason is because uh, its unleash has the potential to deal seven blows in one round. It's ridiculous. It's also a light weapon. But, uh, it's an ultra rare drop, and even with the uh, Dark Panther method, there's no way I'm getting hands on that. Huh. I, I was hoping for a second there that. Um, I was, just for a second, I was hoping that it would pop up with, uh, you got the Tisiphone's Edge, and I'd be, I'd be like, Oh my god! So if I got my hands on the Tisiphone's Edge, I would drop the Excalibur down to Garrett's hands so quickly. You don't even know, man. It's a ridiculous one. But, uh, yeah, it's rare, so I wouldn't worry about it. For the Tisiphone's Edge, there is a way of getting your hold on it with um, an RNG manipulation method, but, uh, in general, RNG manipulation in this game is more than a little finicky, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. That has to do with the fact that I think the, uh, RNG machines are slightly based on time. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, this is the Wonderbird. Um, possibly the most important enemy in this entire dungeon. Um... Uh, I don't even have one. If you can, uh, this guy is weak to water. Absolutely try your best to kill it with a water jenny because Look at those experience points, viewers. One Wonderbird, 86,000, 8,600 experience points. They're pretty much the best experience pinatas in the entire game. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I'm actually going to do all of my final level grinding here. I'm probably going to grind up to like mm, eh, low 50s, high 40s in this dungeon alone, just because of how good the Wonderbirds are. And if you can kill them uh, with the Mercury Jenny, 
they will drop so much experience because the Black Panther method increases all of the experience again. Uh, oh, if you're wondering what the Black Panther method is, by the way, it's when you kill an enemy with a genie that it's weak to. It flashes twice and gives you better rewards. That's what I mean. It's, uh, it's how I got the K-Sword in the last game, in case you're wondering. <laughs> in case you were wondering! Ho <laughs> ho! I'm so terrible. Shaky statue. We haven't had to use Tremor in a long time. <clears throat> uh, game? Oh, we got a Chimera one here. Let's see. Oh, I don't think you guys are new because they're not. Oh, wait, that was the wrong list. Uh, there we go. Uh, they're weak to fire. And I think they can drop waters of life. Okay, game. Uh, can we actually tremor the statue this time? Uh, what the balls? What the balls? Why am I not tremoring? There we go. Hey, little buddy. How's it going? Oh, you want to fight, don't you? Well, I'm going to pound your face in. Yes, I am. Yes, I am! Why am I speaking this way? Have I finally lost it, viewers? Well, I did just drop a sun on his face, so... And with that, I believe that should be... The final Ginny! Serac! Last one... In the whole game. Can you believe it, viewers? Strike a chilling finishing blow. I think Serac's supposed to be one of the most powerful uh, Mercury Genie in the game. So, uh, let's see. Well, that does put you in a higher job class. Um, uh, yeah, I'll switch you with Shade. Uh, and the reason is because... Uh, how the heck was I going into the Luminier? Damn. Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, Sarek's really, really good for water elemental damages, uh, damage, uh, which is why I want to have it on Pierce, so that he can use it to kill the Wonder Burbs. Um, birds. You know, if we actually ran into them, I mean, all we seem to be running into are cruel dragons and druids. Man, this whole dungeon is just one long, narrow hallway. It's like playing Final Fantasy XIII all over again. Awww! Damn it! I thought that would work. Oh, what the hell? Burbs. That was bull, and you know it, game. Uh, yeah. Back to the last please. Nose, not miss it. Um, I want to kill this guy, but I want to kill him the right way. Yeah, yeah he's gonna bring the cool dragon back to life. Oh, thank God. Yeah, the Wonderbirds can escape if you leave them alone for long enough. So. 
do it. Let's see. Sarah, Wonderbird, die. Aha! You weren't a match for me. Man, look at that experience. Holy cow. Yeah, you, you play your cards right, uh, you'll get loads of experience for doing that. Wonderbirds! If I kill them all! Could have done with a good Nikito. Damn. One of them got away. Oh well. It happens sometimes. Oh, look, I found him again! Ha! <laughs> you thought you could get away from me? Think again! Oh, we got a carp. We got carpet bombs. That's great. Man, we're getting levels like mad. Ah, yeah. There's where the boss is. Okay. So, um, between episodes, yeah, I'm gonna have to do this again. But between episodes, ugh, sorry about that. Just stretching, viewers. Uh, between episodes, I'm going to level grind. Pretty much just right here. Um, probably go heal up, or maybe just stay around here and heal up. Uh, and then in the next episode of Let's Play The Lost Age, we're gonna finish off the boss here and explore the next, um, optional dungeon. So, see you guys then!